ta, 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 ta. you kill your sound. And so the whole concept of this illusion of staccato was that you played your 16th notes without separating the air and you tongued harder. And if you tongue harder, that creates some of the natural separation in the notes, but the air doesn't get any kind of compression or you know, tension on the air. And when we do that, you hear how it's affecting my voice. Well, it affects our tone the same way. Yeah. So Chickowitz would use the Arvin book. Mm -hmm. And see how I'm, I'm working back around here and answering your question? Yes, that's exactly what I was hoping you would do. <laughs> so, he, so what he would do is he would take those studies, like anything like the Gruppettos or the ta pa da pi pa pa da pi pa pa da pa 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 da pa And then the normal trumpet tendency is to really shorten those notes. pa pa da pa 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 da pa You get tighter and tighter. And the second note under the slur, where you're slurring two notes together, ta 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 ta, we frequently will make that note clip. And if you do that, you're engaging your gut again in the negative. And every time you do one of those, you're like if you have a handbrake, emergency brake on your car that's in a bunch of clicks, you're going up a click every time you do it and there's more and more tension, you're killing your sound, you're killing your efficiency and notes get to where they don't speak. And then efficiency and notes get to where they don't speak. And then the famous Chicklets uh, line would be, Mark, put the horn down. <laughs> and we would go through and we would blow the air pattern. Now let's go back and put that in the horn. <laughs> <laughs>